Hi, Xinhe. Hi, Suzy. Oh, sorry. I'm on my um, volume isn't. Can you? Uh, I should be able to hear you now. Okay. Uh, hi, Suzy. Uh, good afternoon to you. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 4 p.m. here. Good morning to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw your question about the um, auth provider documentation. Um, so I forwarded you the AWS auth provider that uh, Jimmy recently added. Does that, I think, I think the uh, file is like the, there's only one file with most of the logic. It's to implement like the is enabled function and the like, to, and like maybe a create function to get the token um, was that useful at all uh yeah mm, i think it's for for up, uh for upstream ratify it is fine to use uh, workload identity uh but uh, if i want to integrate with uh, aks as uh, as an aks feature uh mm, using workload identity might just uh uh be, be uh will be dependent uh, will be dependent on another feature and uh, it uh, it will be, um, it will be uh just like uh, go go uh, go a further long way so if possible i would like to uh, add uh add i uh, add the then uh, add the the direct identity also uh, also provider if possible. Is there a performance improvement over, like is performance improvement using MSI compared to workload identity or is it simply um, the, like the implementation? Uh, uh, first is about the implica uh, implication. The second is uh, about the workload identity has, uh, might still need a, need a long way to go. Uh, for example, uh, currently, workload identity only support uh, um, AAD, uh, AAD application, uh, and uh, it, it means it, it has to use uh, uh, client idea plus secret, uh, plus secret uh, combina uh, combination. 
it cannot use the user managed identity. Uh, if we want to, uh, if we want to use uh, user managed, uh, user managed identity, it needs to wait, uh, wait uh, at least uh, half a year, I think. I see. Um, yeah, I see David and both David and Akash is on the call. So Xinhe is looking to add a MSI auth provider, um, and he's looking for. Um, like, do we have any documentation on the steps to follow to implement a new auth provider? Um, so I did write, there is like a scaffolding explaining what's required, but I didn't write like a full guide to it. Um, uh, no but problem. I, I can like, I can help you with that as well, uh, Sinha, to figure out like what you want to add. And I can explain like how the current auth provider okay, is okay. too. Thank you. So uh, uh, if I would like to add an uh, auth provider, I just need to uh, raise an issue and uh, raise my PR and I can get a, a get a review, is that correct? Yes, so yeah, so you'll um, you'll just add it to, since it's an Azure one, you'd add it to the Azure folder, so. Um, uh, yes, I saw that. Yeah, and there's two components you're gonna have to add the factory for it as well as the actual provider and then implement the interfaces that each require. And then after that point, um, you would uh, write a little bit of documentation. So we have a we have a document where we talk about each of the supported auth providers. Um, is it the auth uh, yeah. provider? I, I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Oh. But yes, yeah, this one. Yes, yeah. So you yeah, would yeah, talk yeah. about like what uh, portions of the config file that you special, um, you know, settings and fields that you've added for that specific auth provider. Provide an example, and uh, yeah, that, that's it. And then we'll just review it. And yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I may raise NPR when my code is ready. Yeah, thanks, I think uh, my, my screen just kind of zoom just froze for me. So um, I can't see like the gallery view, but I can still see my, can anybody, can everyone still see my screen fine? Yep. I can see it. Yep. Okay. Um, I just hope no one is in the lobby. Um, uh, just maybe I'll stop sharing and try to, um, trigger a refresh for Zoom. Okay, I got the gallery view back. Uh, let me check. There's nobody waiting in the lobby. Great, and then I'll reshare my screen. Yeah, my computer has been um, acting funny today. Um, cool. Yeah, Singha, let us know if you have any additional uh, questions. Feel free to ping us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Okay, and uh, going through our agenda, uh, just going through the two open PRs. Um, I think the AWS package updates, um, they're good to go. I will merge them this week. And the debug information um, PR, Akash, I saw you left a comment about um, how to pull a private image um, and deploy that. So I've added the sample commands uh, to the file. Have you had a chance to review that? Um, no, I actually haven't, but uh, I'll, I'll take a look. Cool. Um, I've just added your suggestion on- um, Oh, sweet. Like right. how, to, how to build the Docker image, how to push to the registry and like deploy using a local chart. Like I know in the last meeting, Eric mentioned that you can direct the call from Gatekeeper to your local host. I think I think that's what he mentioned, but I'm not sure on the steps. So maybe um, when he get a chance, he can add a different section. But at least this gives some like end-to-end -end step for validating in the Kubernetes scenario. Yeah, and I think this is the long way, but this like guarantees that you more complete, yeah. like you're running the ratify image. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, and I saw you've approved the uh, bug fix for the default config path. So I'll merge that. <clears throat> I'll merge that in later today. Okay, sounds good. 
Yep, so that's all out open PR. Um, and we've gone through the auth provider. Um, that is a synchronous question. Um, yeah, now we're open to any discussion. I see Bin Bin, you've joined the call. Do you have a specific um, question today? Uh, I, I don't have any specific one. <laughs> yeah, Bin Bin, I actually um, had explored the CRD um, for the store and the verifier a little bit. Um, and I've captured some of the details, like I've started a design document. Um, if you go to this link, um, I know previously you've also done some exploration using the code generator. So Eric had pointed me to the cube builder, which also uses like under the hood uses the code generator for CRDs. Um, so I'm exploring that at the moment do you have you tried um cube builder before no not yet okay I, i'll see that okay i'll explore that route like if i um yeah like i'll i'll if i get anywhere <laughs> i'll like i'll have a demo when i'm ready but i might sync up with you offline on um like where how far are you are you along the CRD investigation. Um, yep, that's all I had. Um, I'm, I'm gonna stop sharing because as soon as I start sharing, my Zoom window disappears. Um, so let me stop sharing so I can see the chat window and I see Sajay in the lobby. So he is. It should be in now. Um, yeah. Is he here? Hi, Sajay. Uh, sorry, I took a moment because my uh, screen was freezing while I'm screen sharing. But we just covered um, our agenda. We went through, we've gone through the open PRs and Xinhe is looking for some documentation on um, writing a new auth provider for MSI. Um, yeah, and now we're just um, opening up for anyone with questions. David, do you have anything to discuss? No, not, not right now. Good. Did you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I guess a uh, short meeting today. Like we're all just doing our own investigation. Investigation. I am working on the CRD investigation using Cube Builder, um, just to see how that integrates to our existing Ratify code path. And Akash is working on some manifest digest mm -hmm. investigation when there is um, when we have to, when we get an index file for multiple different architects, architectures, um, and Eric is off this week. So yeah, I guess if there's nothing else we can carry on with our day. Okay, cool. Um, thanks for joining today. Hope you have a good week. Okay. Thanks. Have a good one. Thank Bye -bye. you, Susan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank mm -hmm. you.